Hello guys, I'm here in the Egyptian Museum in Torino, Italy. So let's discover this amazing Egyptian culture together here in Italy. Well, after enter to the museum, we can see this statue. Of course, it's not complete because a lot of years passed. And they ask why an Egyptian museum in Torino? Well, it's because a lot of Italian expeditions uh, went to Egypt. Not now or not uh, 50 years ago, a lot of time ago, 100 and more and after. And they were doing all this research. And thanks to this uh, Italian expedition is that they discover all this. So for a study, or maybe the excuse of a study, they bring all this to Torino, Italy. Well, we can see the uh, the heads now with human and animal figures, the anthropomorphic uh, way that Egyptian people loves so much and me too and the egyptian profile now the egyptian profile is so beautiful i always when i take a picture i always put me like that too now the uh, statues for funerals when people die no so maybe if you are close to that you can use them to know all these pieces of course are original and maybe you can ask yourself no way Egypt don't ask uh, the Italian government to return well maybe they are okay like that maybe they have a lot in Egypt already amazing stylus so you can interpret whatever you want there a statue of a leon you know uh, that means a leon statue now this looks like my mom or maybe a very a, a, a woman who is very upset very beautiful Egyptian woman. I, I just met one in Turkey some time ago because they paid me a photo session. But well, it was not a real date. She was just there because I paid a photo session. That's life, guys. And more stylus. We can see Anubis there or set and now this mummy so beautiful like the girl behind so that's the body and that's the the thing that is outside you now covering more egyptian furniture Well, if you want to study Egyptian culture, it's very difficult and it's a very long way because they even have a they even have a, a different studies now because some people are specialists in well, I don't know how to say in English Egyptology in Spanish is uh, Egyptologia. Well, Egyptology for sure or something like that, no? So, it's very difficult. Now we can see men of different clans, no? Because they have different skins, different color skins. Just remember that the position of Egypt, no? They were close to Europe and close to Africa, too. So, you can imagine all the ideas from 
everybody in the world that they needs to process in their brains now now some hand scenes people are hunting animals there for make their delicious Egyptian dishes I need to try Egyptian food everyone is talking how amazing things about that and let's see what else can be find here So this museum, I think it's the best museum in, in Torino, no? And you can spend, I spent a lot of hours here. I just made a video of 12 minutes, but I spent a lot of, lot of hours looking for the details, for everything, no? So for sure you need at least three, four hours. Oh, the eye, the Egyptian eye. So deep, I'm getting scared. Wow. So you need to take your time if you want to appreciate well all this. Or maybe you just want to pass without appreciate, without be without uh, going to the details. Then it's okay, now you can finish in one hour. But believe me, for enjoy this museum you need to take your time. Because uh, this culture was the influence of lot of cultures after now, Greeks, Romans, uh, and people after Rome, they admire so much the the Egyptian culture, no? Even before the Greek culture was the, the Egyptian culture. And I think even nowadays, all the Egyptian secrets of those times, we cannot know, you know. Even now, some people are trying to to guess the codes and everything. Well, more covers of the tombs. You can see the descriptions there. Guardians or important people from the Pharaoh. So this is so beautiful really, but maybe I think that Egypt, in Egypt they have even better things that they live this in Italy, no? I think so. I need to go to Egypt to prove this. And more and more. Very beautiful Egyptian woman. I would like to have an Egyptian girlfriend or wife soon, no? Everything so amazing, so historical, so important for history, so important for understand human life, how humans start to create a fantasy world of what happened after after you die or before you born, you know. They try so hard to believe about an afterlife. They try so hard to invent things about the existence of life after death but you know that's not possible so now we can see we can still see the people from different colors in the furniture all this Egyptian art is so fantastic and even if all these years pass how can we cannot make something so beautiful like they did even now with all the technology that we have now so let's see what else can we find here this cave so this place is full too of tour guys because people like to pay for listen the history I don't pay guides because my guide is the hope 
to find the exact reason for something. If not, I with Google with the internet well now the Sphinx no the statue that protects the royalty. And this is this is called the the room of the kings, no? I think this is the best part of the museum, the statues with more historical value, no? We can see some pharaohs. This head, because usually in Egypt they always try to represent exactly the face of the pharaoh so here we have one don't fall in love please of the pharaoh and of me well you can follow, fall in love of me if you want and this one that is the biggest statue one feet very smelly feet one feet after that size, you know. Very smelly. Well, this is the Egyptian Museum in Torino, Italy. I enjoy here a lot, but I think now it's time to leave. Because new places are waiting because new experience are waiting because the love is waiting too the money is waiting everything everyone is waiting the statue of Tutmosis too wow now some people from Africa and Egypt well even when Africa uh, when Egypt is Africa and that's all guys see you in the next video Let's do more videos forever.